All right, so this comes from the book Don't Sweat the Small Stuff at Work by Richard Carlson. And I love this book. Uh, it's just worn out. But here's one called Stop Scrambling. For many people, there are essentially only two speeds, fast and faster. <laughs> Raise your hand, Mary Lou. Uh, it seems that most of the time we're scrambling around, moving very quickly, doing three or four things at once. I think that's called multitasking or attempting to. Perhaps the reason so many of us spend so much time scrambling is that we fear falling behind or maybe we even fear losing our edge. I know that happens to me too. It's important to note that in this hyper frenetic state of mind, our concentration suffers. And when we're scrambling, it's difficult to determine what's truly most relevant because we are so preoccupied with getting everything done. How many people can, can relate with that? I know I can. As an experiment, See if you can make a conscious effort to slow down both think your thinking and slow down your actions. <clears throat> if you do, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to discover that despite the slower speed, you'll become more relaxed and you'll become more effective. The reason this happens is that you'll regain your composure and you're gonna be able to see better that bigger picture and perhaps you may even, this is even more important, enjoy what you're doing far more than when you're like just rushing around. I fully acknowledge the need to be productive and I realize how much work there is to do. However, ironic as it seems, it's often the case that you'll get more done in less time when you stop scrambling so much. That's our motivational moment. Woo! Thank you, Bill. All right, all right.